Well, some unexpected sea creatures are making quite a splash in Sacramento. Take a look at this video here. How cute are they? Families are flocking to the river to try to get a glimpse of these sea lions that have been spotted in our area. Tony Lopez shows us where they're hanging out and also why they're making their home here temporarily. Sacramento's waterfront has a brand new tourist attraction. It's really cool. This herd of sea lions can be heard loud and clear. Hanging out for several weeks now on West Sacramento's public boat dock, just upstream from the Tower Bridge. I like them. It's nice seeing them out here. I really did not expect that. They seem pretty relaxed and um, making a lot of noise. Now, it's not rare for sea lions to swim this far upstream from the ocean, but Many people say they've never seen this many in one spot. I only see them normally just popping their heads up or tails up, so cute to see them all lounging about. They're likely pretty much all males. Michael Milstein with the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration says there's no mystery why they're here. They want to find food so they can bulk up and be ready for the next breeding season. He says salmon and other fish are their meal of choice. And while they may seem docile from a distance, People are warned, don't get too close. They are wild animals. They may not look it when they're laying out on the dock, but they are fearsome and they can move really fast. So it's uh, critical that people keep their distance. This isn't the first time sea creatures have drawn a crowd to the Sacramento River. In 1985, a humpback whale nicknamed Humphrey swam up past the Rio Vista Bridge. And in 2007, two more humpbacks, Delta and Dawn, made it all the way to the port of West Sacramento. Now these marine mammals are becoming the latest aquatic attraction. I love them. Welcome to the neighborhood. <laughs> I need to make my alarm that sound. That'll help me wake up. Uh, that is awesome. So how long are they going to be staying? That's the real question, right? Well, we will probably see them for the next couple of weeks until they go back to their breeding grounds, which is off of the coast of Southern California.